Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. We still got a few of those t-shirts left, you guys, so hit me up. Um, I'm wearing one now, as a matter of fact. Um, but hit me up, please, for the t-shirts. We'll be happy to send them out to you. Uh, take care of your mental dome. And it's so important right now. I can't even stress that enough because this is a this is chemical warfare and it's and it's a mind game. It's a mind God, how can I say it? It's actually a fight for your mind and your stamina. And um to see how much madness you can take. It's basically what it is. In my opinion. Okay. In my humble opinion. So I believe that you all are equipped to handle it. I believe that we all are equipped to handle whatever um, they throw at us. Because those of us who are conscious enough or have been on the planet long enough to know that the race isn't given to the swift nor the battle to the strong. But to him that endureth to the end. And that's what I hope that y'all get out of this. So, what I wanted to say is while I'm reminding everybody to, you know, continue to wash your hands, continue to wash your face, I don't care what nobody say, um, uh, whether it's a flu or influenza or a flu on steroids, whatever it is, it's killing people, okay? And um, what it is, is it, it, it's, um, it's obstructing the pathways with real thick mucus, and which enable what makes it impossible for the person to breathe the 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 pathways the airways become blocked pretty much so a lot of health professionals think that um one way to continue to fight off this madness is to drink lots of hot liquids like coffee tea Whatever you drink that's warm, uh, sip warm water every 20 minutes. That's very good because, see, the, the um, virus uh, will go into your stomach area. But if you um, drink in warm water, then it gives the natural acid in your stomach the ability to um, counteract that. Okay, now I'm not a doctor, but this is what I heard from a colleague uh, that... That a person that has a colleague as a doctor, okay? So it's very important that we understand this. This virus attaches itself to your clothes and your hair. So when you get in, it won't hurt you to shower. It, in fact, you'll be doing yourself a good. If you can't wash your clothes right away, hang them out into the sun. Let the sun rays bang on them, you know? And, um... Wash your hands, continue to wash your hands, and don't forget that. Listen, metallic surfaces, this is what I meant to say. Metallic surfaces seem to hold this madness long. It can last up to nine days. So all these white supremacists that's going around talking about licking doors, and they know exactly what they're talking about, and spraying um, uh, uh, corona-infected saliva onto doorknobs and things like that. They, that's because they know that it stays longer when it's attached to a metallic a handrail, a doorknob, or things like that. So you might want to go around your house and make sure that your um, doorknobs and handrails and things like that are, you know, covered. Covered in the blood of the Lysol. <laughs> that's all I can say about it. We're going to get through this, family. Um... You know, I'm just laughing to make light of it, but I do take it very seriously. I'm not making light of the situation, okay? So, um, now that I got that out the way, I just want to say this. 45, y'all friend, whoever, some people call him Donald Dump. Um, this is probably one of the uh, craziest things that he said as far as I'm concerned. Um... President Donald Trump said that he can reopen the economy while protecting at-risk populations from the coronavirus. Our people want to return to work, the president wrote on Twitter. They will practice social distancing and all else, and seniors will be watched over protectively and lovingly. 
We can do two things together, he added. Medical experts warn strict containment practices are still needed. This is what the medical experts said now. But Donald Trump said he wants to let everybody go back. Um, World Health Organization warned the U.S. could soon become the new coronavirus epicenter on Tuesday. Over the past 24 hours, 85% of new cases worldwide were from Europe and the U.S., whose spokeswoman Margaret Harris said um, that's where the spike has come from. Over, uh, when asked whether U.S. could become the new epicenter, Harris said, we are now seeing a very large acceleration in cases in the U.S., so it does have the potential. And this fool, this fool, they have, meaning the U.S., have a very large outbreak and an outbreak that is increasing in intensity. The U.S. coronavirus death toll climbed to 586 on Monday as the total number of cases surpassed uh, 46,400 and 15 states went into various forms of lockdown. Okay? But Donald Trump said our, our people want to return to work. What do y'all think about that? I mean, do y'all, what do you personally think? I mean, because, you know, of course people got to work and pay bills. Um, of course people got to go to work. But there is a, a frivolous form of some kind of um, virus. And they call it COVID-19 that's knocking people out. <laughs> and they can't seem to contain it. But Donald Trump said it's okay to go back. What the hell wrong with y'all? He says nothing, nothing wrong with that. President Trump has been clear he's worried about the economic effect coming from all the businesses being shuttered because of the pandemic. Numerous states have closed restaurants, gym, bars, and clubs. The hospitality industry has been hit hard by the pandemic. States like California and New York have advised people to stay home as much as possible. And the stock market has tanked, erasing nearly all of the gains it has made since Trump took office. But the World Health Organization has warned the United States um, has the potential to become the new coronavirus epicenter. Following a very large acceleration of infections. Over the past 24 hours, 85% of new cases were from Europe and the United States. Who spokeswoman Martha Harris told reporters on Tuesday? Of those, 40% were from the United States. Italy currently has the highest number of coronavirus deaths in the world with more than 6,000. After abruptly overtaking China, where the outbreak began late December, and 3,281 people have died late last week. But the U.S. is on pace to become the new leader after its death toll climbed to 586 as of Tuesday, a sharp rise of more than 200 since Sunday. And <clears throat> Donald Trump wants to send people back to work because he thinks um, he knows more than the health officials. To me, this is an opportunity to start this country over again. To me, I might be wishful thinking because we can't go on the way we we're going on anyway. It's just like fire, like I said. It burns everything down. But what comes after the fire is all renewed. It's a new beginning. And these fools have finally pulled it. They pulled it, as Corey said. They was gonna pull it, 
and they did. They didn't destroy, I mean, no rational, sane human being would think that, in my opinion, that people dropping dead like this and you saying it's okay to go back to work. I mean, I, I just, you know, I don't see it. But then again, why am I straight, right? Why am I straight? I don't know. So y'all tell me, what do you think about Donald Trump saying that uh, we might as well just open everything back up? Because, uh, hey, you're losing too much money on his watch. Uh, the economy is tanked. And all the strides that he made under his presidency have now gone down to zero. He's very concerned about the numbers. He knows more than the health officials. So he said we should all just forget about this corona stuff and go back to normal. What do you think? Please give me your opinion. All right. Let me get in here and see what these little mongrels are doing. These last few puppies, I cannot get out of here to save my life. All right. Um, 